Team Jackson, what's happening? So uh, I was listening to the radio this morning. Shout out to my homegirl, Jazzy McBee, for bringing this up. But uh, she was talking about whether or not women today are choosing bad guys over all the good guys. Age old topic. Uh, but I think she had watched a video in which the person talking was like, yeah, women today are just immature. Therefore, they can't handle a man who's thinking for the future and wants to be responsible with his money. They're not attracted to that because they got daddy issues, et cetera, et cetera. Well, me personally, I believe there's much less of an epidemic of women choosing bad guys over quote unquote good guys and much more of an epidemic of self-proclaimed good guys qualifying themselves as good because of things that have absolutely nothing to do with the health and the quality of a relationship. Not only that, they feel entitled to every woman that they take interest in because they are self-proclaimed good and they hate on other guys and they judge other guys who get the attention that they want out of jealousy, usually by things that have absolutely nothing to do with a person's character. They're just strictly going by circumstance. Now, that's not to say there isn't a such thing as the, the, the ratchet woman, the gold digger, the scammer, the city girl, whatever type of toxic woman that's only attracted to, to toxicity because that's what she herself has and that's only you know that's only the kind of guy that she's used to or could even attract cool i know those exist but for a second let's speak to the majority of women from the plain janes to the flies the sexiest the highest achieving women in the world we can all agree that the common denominator is that most women want a man who makes them feel protected safe comfortable and secure right well how is a woman supposed to feel secure with you as a man if you ain't secure with yourself enough to not be looking at the next man and hating on him because he's getting attention that you're not getting. Like, instead of becoming the guy that made a woman feel safe and secure, you thought your Morehouse degree in at least 2016 infinity and the concierge at the front desk was gonna impress women, but whenever it didn't, you got salty and you started pointing fingers at everybody else. Yeah, another man that's getting all the girls may dress different from you. He may have neck tattoos. You know, he in his youth, he may have made certain decisions where he had to choose between survival or breaking the law. So now he got felonies or some kind of record, but that don't make him a bad guy. Oftentimes, yeah, those guys do end up wasting a woman's time, but let's be real. Most of y'all ain't mad because you would have treated that woman right and she chose somebody who wasted her time. You mad because she ain't choose you to waste her time. And in the same way that those outside things don't make him a bad guy, you having a little money, you have you coming from a two-parent household, that don't make you a good guy. Matter of fact, let's speak on it for a second. And ladies, I want to hear straight from y'all because y'all the ones that got the experience. Don't don't take it from me. No social media memes, no social media videos, no perception strictly from firsthand experience. Tell me if what I'm about to say is either facts or foolishness. More times than not, today, when a guy got a little money, it translates negatively into dating and relationships because he feels like he's the prize. So therefore, a woman should have to prove to him why she's worthy for a real date. In a relationship, he, she can't ask him to help out with the dishes or, or to help around the house. Why? Because he got money and, and she should be happy doing her part, even if she's also working and chasing her dreams just like him. She's not allowed to get a little burnt out and ask for a little help from him. Or whenever she asks to spend real time and, and go on a quality date every now and then, he gets offended because she's supposed to feel honored to have her needs ignored because he's on his grind and he's building a business. And one day he's gonna be a mogul. He's gonna make a lot of money and that's just gonna fix everything. Or he stalls her out for years on end instead of moving the relationship into marriage. Why? Because deep down he feels like he can replace her at any moment because there's so many women out here looking to get saved and she's never gonna find another him, a guy who has a little bit of money and doesn't have any felonies. Y'all let me know, ladies, especially y'all, from firsthand experience, if I'm, if I'm speaking facts or if I'm speaking foolishness. Because if I'm speaking facts, then the truth is, it's a lot more problematic, this whole narrative of the good guy as opposed to all the bad guys who dress a certain way and talk a certain way, than it is women's choosing. No, women ain't looking over you because they got bad taste. When women aren't repulsed by your wholesome qualities of being a good man in your eyes. They're repulsed by your insecurity, your entitlement, and your ego. Let's fix that in today's minute. Then we can revisit this conversation. But those are just my thoughts. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. I'll let y'all later. Peace.